Hello, welcome to We're Not Wizards. My name's Richard. This is Six Degrees of Expectation, and today we're looking at Cross Clues. It's published by Blue Orange, provided to us by Coiled Spring Games, and designed by Gregory Grard. Six Degrees of Expectation is what you can expect to find when you bring the game to the table. So I'm going to go through some key points with you and help you decide if it's something you would like to play. Cross Clues is a word game. And what you're trying to do is one of the players will give a clue and the other players will need to match the right coordinate based on that. If they get it right, then they win the card. Playing around is quite simple. The player will take a card that will have a coordinate on it. In this case, we're looking at E3. They'll then look at the grid and unknown to the other players, they will try and give a clue which will tie, a one word clue, which will tie both of these grid references together. So in this case, I have got, I've got E5 the word at E is airport, and the word at 5 is desert. So you would have to come up with a word that would tie them together. So, so if you give the word which would say jelly, and if they go, oh yeah, that's E5, then they get the card and it goes towards the wind pile. If they don't, the card gets discarded and put away and we can't win that particular card. Then passes to the next player, they get their clue card and they again go ahead and give, and they give a clue based on the coordinates that they are given and so on and so forth until all of the cards are played or if you're playing with a timer, the time runs out and then you total up the total number of cards that you've won and if you get based on the score decides if you're absolutely wonderful or if you're just decidedly average like me. In terms of learning like most of these types of word games there's one key concept that's fairly easy to grasp and it's the actual gameplay element that will decide whether or not you decide to make the game easier or trickier, trickier. and you've got the option to do that by either increasing or decreasing the size of the grid based on how you want to play. Looks wise, Cross Clues reminds me of 1950s ice cream parlour. The colours and everything is just so... I love the colour scheme on this. The pinks, the kind of the teals, the kind of the... Um, the kind of the vanilla beige colour. It just appeals to me. I love the style of it. And it's very simple, straightforward. I mean, it's not going to be that involved because of the nature of the game that it is. And it works very, very well indeed. And in terms of table space, you're just playing with the same grid, a couple of cards. So this is not going to take up a huge amount of space on the table because you can increase or decrease the grid as you want. This will maybe even sit on a coffee table so you can play it whenever you want, small space, after dinner, afternoon, not having to go to the dining table and roll everything out. It might even just play quite nicely on the floor as well. So there you go. Time-wise, because it is an actual timed game where you've got the option to use the five minute timer, rounds themselves can take, can be as little as kind of like five, ten minutes, depending on how you want to play. Um, we'd ex probably suggest for the first couple of games you play without the timer until you're you're confident to play. So that was Six Degrees of Expectation for Cross Clues, published by Blue Orange and provided to us by Coiled Spring Games. If you like what you have seen, then stick a comment below, chuck us a like. And if you've played the game, let us know how you got on with it. There will be an opinion video which will be running alongside this. But until the next time, stay safe, roll sixes, make something awful. And until the next time, I've still not got any dice, so I'm going to be rolling this. Goodbye. Dragon Queen. It's there. Dragon Queen. Daenerys. There you go. Boom!